So I genuinely believe that this is a game changer for anyone who is just starting their dating journey. And in fact, when I was putting this video idea together, it got me thinking about when I first started working on my journey and just how anyone that I was talking to, I was just essentially agreeing with everything that they were saying. I never really threw in my own opinions. I never really disagreed with anything. But as time went on, and when I certainly started to develop my confidence, it became more and more apparent that by being disagreeable or by disagreeing with a person on their views and opinions and being able to voice my own, it actually built more attraction with women that I was going on dates with. And certainly during the dates, if I was talking about a topic and uh, a woman disagreed with me, absolutely, it gave me an opportunity to qualify my point of view and it just took our conversation to a much deeper level. Now, most guys I think I have met over the years, especially when they maybe have low confidence, they aren't really going on enough dates or that they do have a lot of anxiety, they're actually very scared to voice their opinion or to just, again, disagree with someone. But if there is something that I would certainly encourage people to do, especially as just a conversation technique, is to get comfortable disagreeing and voicing a point of view that might be very different to the other person that you're talking to. So let's use the simple example here that you're on a date with a lady and the topic of pets comes up. And then you ask her if she's a cat person or a dog person. So for this example, she's a dog person, she likes dogs, she owns a dog, whatever. Now, first scenario here would be that you agree with her. You say, yeah, I love dogs too, but you just don't have really any experience of dogs or the topics of dogs that it essentially brings that conversation to a halt. And there's not really much more that you can explore with it because you just don't understand it. And you're gonna look a little bit foolish if you start asking her questions about what's it like to have a dog if you're kind of giving the impression that either you own a dog or that you like dogs anyway. So you should then have some kind of idea around that. But ultimately, it doesn't really lead to much more of a conversation to have. And you're not going to be able to create any sort of attraction if you're avoiding creating some kind of emotional trigger per se. So this is where then being able to have a debate with someone and spark uh, a real deep conversation is certainly a very attractive trait to have. So we'll use now a different scenario. So again, she said that she likes dogs. Now I'm a cat person. Now, if she says that she likes dogs and then I say I'm a cat person, we've now got a bit of a, uh, a disagreeable um, experience taking place here, uh, or we've got a bit of a differentiation between us. So what can now happen in the conversation is an opportunity for either of us to debate our points of view. And it's in that that you can really spark and create that attraction. And this is certainly uh, an experience that I do suggest that people try and do themselves, whether it be something that you are actually having a proper debate about, or you're just doing it more as a, an entertaining side of things. And I, and I will explain that that just shortly but being able to then disagree on things and having the points of view allows you to also kind of like sway the person into your thinking so if she says that she's a dog person and I'm a cat person I now have the opportunity to tease her and say something like like oh no oh you're a, you're a dog person oh that that's a deal breaker right now and I, and I was really attracted to you I thought you were really cute but now afraid we're gonna just have to end the date there. So a bit of sense of humor can be thrown in there or you can be having the actual debate. You like dogs, oh, but they're so messy. There's so much hard work to look after. Uh, I think they're probably worse than having a boyfriend. You know, the amount of effort that you are gonna have to put in to looking after a dog. 
especially if you are going away or if you want to sleep in in the morning. I mean, hell, that goes completely out the window. I bet you have to take your dog for walks at like six in the morning and then clean up after him. I have the easy life having a cat. They take care of themselves. They're litter trained. They are so easy to live with and they are incredibly lovable when you are uh, when they well when they warm up to you. So even just that and it gets her to you know really become more emotionally invested in the conversation again these are going to be elements that will spark attraction and think about it as well when you're talking to people do you really just want to be agreeing on everything that they're saying even if you don't agree with their points of view or the interests that they've got, it doesn't allow you to filter out anything in the conversation as well as get to know someone that bit better. So if you are someone who isn't incorporating any kind of disagreeableness in your conversations or you aren't really voicing your opinions on things, I want you to consider the importance of it and just how if you want to be building a a connection with someone, if you are looking for a relationship, then you have to be able to filter out people who, you know, aren't going to be on that same wavelength and interest as you. Now, that doesn't mean, though, that you can't end up going out with someone who's got a completely different point of view to you and you have to be going out with someone who's the exact likeness of you. In fact, it's far from that. But it's making sure that you are flushing out someone's core values and interests by being able to challenge them on those beliefs. So I also mentioned just before about being able to challenge people in kind of a more entertaining kind of way. Well, by this, I mean being able to just disagree with someone throwing in that sense of humor so like with what i did before saying about the deal breaker with uh the date continuing just that alone is going to again spark that emotional investment and uh you'll find that she'll just be attracted to you because you're not holding back and you will certainly appear more confident by being able to tease her and be willing to break rapport and breaking rapport is an old-fashioned term uh, used for being able to literally break that rapport and giving the other person the opportunity to re-qualify and try and refix even that rapport so that bond can be stronger than it was before. So I'll end the video there. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Are you someone who agrees with people or do you disagree with them? And I'm hoping that in the comments below, you say that you do totally disagree and you can leave a reason why. Uh, Hopefully you don't and you actually do agree with me that it's good to disagree. Um, But I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. And also, if you can, in the comments below, I'd love to hear more questions that you've got. So, I mean, this topic came because someone had actually messaged me prior privately and one of the things that came up in the conversation that it sounded like that when he was going on dates he wasn't really voicing his opinion on with women and so they were getting bored of the date and then that was kind of why that they were leaving so I won't spoil uh, I won't bore you not spoil but I won't bore you with more of the details than that so do encourage well I encourage everyone to try and throw in their opinions more in their dates Uh, and certainly disagree with things if it's applicable. Um, But if you can, like the video, subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on even more content that I will put out to help you with your anxiety, especially in conversations and just extra little techniques that you can use that will also help you to appear more confident and be more confident genuinely um, and authentically as well. So you can build attraction and uh, and be a lot less stressed on your dates and with meeting women. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for another video coming out from me soon.